Hi guys, this is Peter. Welcome to another Stage Tracks tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to remote control Stage Tracks with Bluetooth uh, pedals. I have one like uh, this AirTurn device here um, and also a Bluetooth wireless pedal from uh, iRig the Blueboard. So let's get started. Um, to use these pedals we need to connect them to stage tracks and we do them that by going to the settings tab scrolling down until we see remote control and here if uh, we want to uh, connect an air turn device we go to air turn make sure air turn support is enabled and tap the device we want to connect with so now it is connected um, before I show you how to assign actions, if you need to debug uh, something, if you have some problems assigning uh, actions to your device and you are not sure where the problem is, um, you see this I button here on the top right hand side. Um, if you tap it, a small windows, window opens and it will show you key presses directly. So if I press a key, it will highlight the one or three button. And that means the device is cor uh, correctly operating and we should be able to uh, assign commands. If you don't see it, there is a connection problem. So let's close this view and select assign actions. Here you see a list of all commands that you can assign to your pedals. And to do that, just select one command and then when you press the button it is automatically recognized. If you want to delete it, swipe to the left and press delete or a right click on the Mac does the same. So let's do it again. I assign start stop and open close player on this other button here. And now if I press the button, the player opens and closes or playback is started or stopped. Now I can do the same with the MIDI device. Um, I go back, select Bluetooth MIDI device setup and tap on my blue board to connect it. I need to pair it. It's paired and connected done and I can assign actions like I did before. So let's assign scroll half page up and half page down. And that's basically it. Now one last thing I would like to show you um, is how to automatically select songs with MIDI. To select songs with MIDI we go to the songs tab and we need to go into song details for one of the songs we want to edit. So let's say The Girl Is Mine. And um, here we scroll down until we see the MIDI section and there is this entry song select command. When we tap it, we can enter a MIDI command. Um, the uh, syntax to enter this MIDI command, um, I will discuss in detail in the next tutorial, which will be uh, about the MIDI uh, Zend functionality. Uh, for now, um, I will just stick to the basics. If we want to use uh, program changes, um, I have to enter PC, that stands for program change. And let's say it should be program change number 10. And we need to specify a channel, a MIDI channel, and that should be one. So um, the syntax is always the type of MIDI command we are listening to, in this case program changes, then the value we are looking for, 10, then followed by an add character, and the MIDI channel we are listening to. And if we enter it, then this song will always be selected when a program change 10 on MIDI channel 1 is received. Okay, 
that's it for today. If you have any questions regarding um, remote control, please get in touch here in the comments or on the support forum. And if not, I hope uh, we will see you. Uh, we will see each other next time.